This is gonna be an interesting flight. It should be even more interesting than our last flight of the FW-190. This is a really good plane for the price. As a matter of fact, I think I got the last one in stock. And so what we had to do was link, our link for you guys was to a different, better branded, probably slightly more expensive version of this plane. But in the previous flight that you guys watched, it was extremely windy. And I promised you a follow-up flight with less wind. And today we have less wind. See? Should be a perfect flying evening with just a light breeze. If you missed the last video, it's worth your time because Man, that was hard to land. One of the hardest landings I've ever had on a, on a plane that still stayed in one piece and I walked away from. But I do plan to at least fly this twice for you in today's video. This should just be a lot of fun. I'm just gonna fly this, daydream for a while, and be a big kid. I want you guys to come along with me, so let's have fun. Well, that's a good looking plane. I hope we survive today. Half flaps and throttle. Oh, no, no, I did this the last time. <laughs> there, it fixed itself. Try again. I will go full flaps, full elevator, and hopefully I can get past, oh no! <laughs> All right, the wind is now coming from a different direction, so holy moly, that was straight up, whoa. Yeah, right when it goes in the air, we get a big gust of wind. Oh my goodness. That wind, it knew you were getting ready to fly, Nate. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. So as soon as I put the plane on the field, the wind kicked up and shifted directions. Oh, 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 It's real bad. Well, that was really bad. Uh, I had a feeling it would be bad when I saw it go down. So they don't call Death Valley for no reason. Yeah, take a look at this. Look at my elevator up here, just hanging on by the push rod. The wing is completely split, really, really bad. That's nasty, that's a nasty break. Although, this looks like it was just held together with some glue, but then the the hardware, the screw that was holding it in place oh. got ripped out. I think that can be fixed, I really do. I don't know that the retracts will ever work right again. It's even worse up here. The whole cowl, uh, you guys can probably see that, is like, it's hard, it's a bad angle, okay? But you see, there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's all like ripped up. So it should be nice and level, <laughs> it's gone like that. One of the first things you should do, and I didn't do this, I don't know, for the sake of the video or whatever. If you crash, before you pick it up, touch anything, just unplug the power, unplug the battery. You never know if there's a short in there, you never know if you're gonna bump the power, and you've got one scraggly blade on there, on your prop. So unplug the power, and then oh, turn you your... didn't have any blade. No, turn your transmitter off. Uh, that's one of my worst, visually, that's one of my worst crashes ever. Now, what, <laughs> why did it do that? I do think this plane is, it's CG is like a pirate ship, not in real life probably, but on this model, and when I say pirate ship, I mean like imagine a crow's nest, how much pendulum there is swinging on there. I felt like when I was flying in the wind the other day, I felt like the same thing was happening, but I, I blamed it on the wind because it was really strong wind. Today though, with these light breezes, yeah, it got gusty here toward the end, but that's not, I don't think that's why I went down. It got into a weird stall, and I couldn't pull out of the stall. I, I've always felt like this is very underpowered and should be flying on 4S, and all the other guys at the club felt the same way too. Check this out. So yeah, all this stuff came off. Now, this shows me, see how there's that scuff really hard right there? That tells me that it did dive into the ground. Oh yeah, there's also this. My motor mount. 
So you think it wasn't a prop now? No, I think this stayed on when it went down. I think it lost throttle and just nosedived. And then it hit so hard that bounced and yeah. it looked like, it looks like it cracked. Man, that is weird. Yeah, because shouldn't one of the props be broken? The fact that none of the props are broken nah, is weird. Nah, because I cut the throttle and it came down hard like that. And then the whole plane crunched forward with the centrifugal force, just momentum, crunched it forward, split the wing and everything. And, uh, whew, I mean, that's nasty. You can see like this came off, even this bit, it was just glued, but there was so much force that it just yanked that forward like that. I mean, it's crazy. I've never crashed anything like this dramatic before. The Zazzy was sad, but nothing like that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Your elevator. I know it. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, I'm sorry to be laughing, but sometimes you just gotta laugh yeah. off these things. And that's what I need to tell myself when I fly. Well, is the camera on at least? Yes, you gotta Good. just laugh it off. Okay, I didn't know if the camera was on. Yeah, so that's what's important here on our channel. <laughs> it just fell down again. If you didn't already know, <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so sad. It is sad. I'm sad. Uh, I know. Because this is a new plane and I've wanted you. a German World War II bird for a long time. Well, you know what? Maybe there's a reason they don't sell this one anymore. Probably. And we need to pick up the one that we're linking for everybody else. Yeah, we need to test it. Because, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's underpowered. But I don't know if the included ESC could handle 4S. It didn't say it could on the website. So I, I just went with 3S, the recommended. Oh my gosh, that was that was really bad. Um, I, I'm going to try to fix this. I don't want you guys to think that I'm an ungrateful person, even when it looks really bad. I will do my best to piece it all together. This is just shipping tape. We'll hold that. I can re recreate a hinge there. There's some foam glue techniques you can use. The point. I think I can fix. I think I can fix this. It might fly again, and it looks really bad. But I wanted to share this. Abby, when I crashed, she said. Should I just turn the camera off and not worry? I said, no, let's show people. Because first of all, it's not very often that I do crash. Now I, I fly a lot. Well, although... I wasn't saying that like, oh, hide that we crashed. No, 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 that I know that. It was just like, is this video. worth a video? A short video. That's what I was asking him. Yeah. Is this worth a video? And I think that it's important to share it because we've been demonstrating a lot of planes on our channel and I have fun with them all, make them all look good or whatever, you know, at least I'm enjoying it and I rarely do something like this. So I just want to be able to relate to you guys. I crash too. I don't, some guys don't like to show their mistakes in their crashes. I'm fine with it. I'm a human being. I make mistakes. I'm not too beat up. And also this is important for me to, to put this out there too, because you guys just saw Abby flying for the first time in almost a year on the channel. And uh, this is basically what she's afraid of, but it's not the end of the world. I'm fine with this. This happens. A gust of wind mixed with low power, mixed with a steep turn, and it was underpowered a little bit and I couldn't pull out of it. You know, it's just, it just happens. Hot glue, foam glue, a little bit of shipping tape, a little bit of ingenuity, toothpicks, <laughs> zip ties maybe. Hopefully this will fly again. Fairy dust. A little luck and fairy dust. And I think that if I can't get this to fly again, I have quite a few friends in the hobby that will appreciate a nice winter project that still have a little bit more building skills than me or a lot more building skills than me and repairing skills. And somebody will get this back in the air. I'm never, ever one to throw something like this away. So don't worry. Anyway, there you have it. That's our video for the day. Uh, it's a good thing you can't buy this one anymore. Hopefully that was fun to watch because I figured something. I didn't think it would be this bad. I thought if anything, one of my landing gear was going to get jammed and I'd have to come in on one wheel or something. I didn't think this would happen. I'm really sad. Uh, ah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll have more and better, I promise, RC planes and other RC things on the channel coming really soon. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.